This is a gift that you're giving your family. Proactively getting your estate plan done allows both you to make sure your wishes are met, but it also ensures that your family won't have to make these hard decisions. Your goals are what we're trying to achieve. Well, an estate is what the court defines as your assets after you're gone. Your real property, your bank accounts, your special collections like artwork or jewelry. The estate plan lays out your exact wishes, which allows your family to know what you want to happen and make sure that it happens. Another part of the estate planning process is laying out who will take care of your kids, your minor children. Appointing a guardian and conservator for your kids. Remove some of the uncertainty for them. A will is only one piece of the estate plan. A document that lays out, one, where your property is going to go, two, who will take care of your children, and three, it'll name what's called a personal representative. But if you only have a will, your case will most likely need to go through probate. Probate is a court process where we either prove the validity of a will, or if you die in testate, meaning without a will, where the court appoints where your property will go. A lot of people think that if you go through a probate proceeding, then the government's just going to take all of your money. That's not true. Nobody has the power to sign for you, sell your home, sell your vehicles, distribute your assets. The probate is the process by which the court gives that permission. Probate can be time consuming and expensive. It's not the end of the world, but having an estate plan will allow you to either minimize probate or avoid probate altogether. A trust is a document that pretty much sets out how you want your property to be managed both when you're alive and after you pass away. I grew up thinking trusts were only for rich people. The majority of our clients are middle class, working class. A trust is a probate avoidance vehicle, so assets that are contained in the trust, they'll pass to your beneficiaries without going through probate. Other aspects of an estate plan our financial power of attorney. It appoints somebody else to act on your behalf with respect to essentially all legal and financial matters. There's also a health care power of attorney. It names a couple people who will act on your behalf if you are unable to make health care decisions. A living will is directions for what type of care you want. Which sort of acts as the instruction manual to the health care power of attorney. An estate plan's not effective if it's not done properly then the state of Arizona decides what happens with your assets and who will take care of your children. Well, at AWD, our motto is that we're Northern Arizona's law firm. We have two locations, one in Flagstaff and one in Sedona. We have 45 years of experience doing estate planning. So we've seen the problems that can happen when a, an estate plan is not done correctly, and we know how to avoid those problems. We put a lot of transparency into the process. First of all, we charge only a flat fee for our estate plans, and it's charged up front. Estate planning process is pretty pain-free. When you call our office, we'll set up an appointment for a free consultation. And we'll talk about what you want to happen. What about your particular situation um, should be incorporated into an estate plan. Once you decide to retain us, we will create draft documents based on our initial consultation. After we've gotten the details hammered out, we prepare the drafts here at the office. I'll send those to you to review. If you want to have a meeting in person to review, I'll do that with you. We can go through the documents step by step. You have an opportunity to ask more questions, to um, provide changes. And then finally, we'll have a third meeting where we will execute the documents, meaning we'll sign the documents. After that, your documents are set, set in place. We send you back with the originals and you have your estate plans. Estate plans can be changed, and I always recommend that folks take a look at their estate plans every couple of years. You have a new grandkid, or you've adopted a child, or you know a family member gets married. And it's pretty easy to put off an estate plan. No one wants to think about when they're going to die or when they'll be incapacitated. 
But the thing is, is we, we never know what's gonna happen and just having the estate plan in place is just ease of mind both for you and your family members. If you'd like to get the estate planning process started, please call AWD for a free consultation. 